Namaste and welcome back to the channel. My friends, today I'm going to be speaking about a topic which I feel can really, really help you guys get good at coding. Because I'm sure many of you are unnecessarily complicating your journey of coding and making it more difficult than it really has to be. Stick on to the end of the video because trust me, if you use these points which I'm going to speak about the video, I can guarantee you that you will become better at coding. It's guaranteed by Rohit. Anyways, point number one, get your basics right. Now, what do I mean by this, my friend? Many of you always keep switching between programming languages because you're constantly in the search of which is the best programming language. Now, this is a very, very toxic approach and this is really, really stopping you from growing in your coding journey. Please understand there is nothing called as best language. Pick one language, for example, Java or Python. Understand the basics of the language. Understand variables understand data types, understand conditional statements, understand loops, understand arrays, strings, object orientation. Your basics must be strong because without a strong foundation, you will not be able to do anything else that I'm mentioning in the rest of the video. So make sure you get your basics right. Now that you got your basics right, I'm coming to point number two, which is you have to build an approach. My friends, please understand now I'm speaking to you. I'm using a certain language to communicate with you. I'm using my body language, I'm using English, and a combination of both is helping me get what I want to tell through to you. Now you must understand, a computer is not very different. Of course, it's not a human being, but it's a machine. It's a machine to which you must communicate, give instructions to. And a computer is a dumb machine. It can't think on its own. You have to give it instructions. Now, let me give you a simple difference between a human being and a computer. I have five numbers in front of me. Can you quickly tell me which is the largest number out of this five? I'm sure all of you within a second were able to identify the largest number. This is because of the way your human brain works. Now, how did you arrive at the number that is the largest? You also cannot put it in steps. You just ran your eyes from left to right and you found it. But a computer cannot do that, my friend. A computer requires a step-by-step -step procedure which you must tell it in order to find the largest element which is called as an algorithm. If for example I was using Java programming language, I would store these five numbers within an array, I would loop over this array, I would create a variable called as max, initialize the first value inside the array as max and every time I move forward in the array, if I find a number which is greater than the existing max, I would update max and at the end I would return max. Now this is my algorithm to find the largest number in an array. Now the same algorithm must be converted into code using a programming language. This is how it would look in Java. This is how it can look in Python. So I hope you're able to understand that building an approach towards coding is important. Understanding that you're speaking to a computer and it wants you to give it a step-by-step -step procedure is important, right? Now comes point number three, which is to build an approach or to build this ability to come up with approaches for a problem, you must have practice and consistency. What do I mean by this? See, my dear friends, every day, you must minimum be solving five coding questions. Now, some of you will say five is too less. See, please understand, human beings have a problem. They set goals which is so large that they always end up underachieving and then suffer with demotivation. Don't do that. Start small, take baby steps. Start with five problems. Now, where will I solve five problems from? There are so many websites. HackerRank, HackerEarth, CodeForces, CodeChef, you have Lead Code, Geeks for Geeks, InterviewBit. They have amazing repository of questions. Go pick questions. Pick questions in such a way that first you're beginning with easy questions. You can sort these questions based on difficulty, my friend. Begin with easy questions. Solve five easy questions. If you're able to solve five easy questions easily, then what you must do is next start solving three easy questions, two medium questions. If that also becomes easy, solve two easy questions, three medium questions. If that is also becoming easy, solve four medium questions, one hard question. If that also becomes easy, then swap medium with hard, so on and so forth. Keep building yourself up. And trust me, if you do this, consistency is important. It is not that you do it one day and the second day you stop. 
every day every day every day you must do consistency is the most important factor for success in life which many people disregard and do not focus on so practice and consistency great now i'm coming to my fourth point which is to my fourth hope guys many a times it would happen that you are trying to solve a coding question and you're unable to solve it you're unable to come up with a logic now trust me don't spend hours and hours on a single question it is a waste of your time i'll give you a simple framework 15 minutes should be the maximum time you must spend trying to come up with a logic if you're not able to come up with a logic within 15 minutes then immediately make sure you stop wasting time and go and look at the solutions given by others trace the program understand the logic behind the person how is he thinking what is what is he trying to do with the solution look at multiple solutions and in understanding other people's logic your own logic will improve not only that make sure that sometimes when you are getting stuck and you are unable to think take breaks friends it's very important sip a cup of coffee or speak to your friend over the phone listen to a song take a quick short break for 10 to 15 minutes and get back to coding trust me this will make a world difference coming to my last and final point which is my fifth point do not compare yourself with others now this is a mistake everyone does suddenly you get a message on your phone saying that your friend has got placed now you know on the surface level maybe in the message you will say congratulations but inside you will be dying you will be feeling unhappy oh my friend got placed i didn't i am probably not as capable as my friend no this is the first mistake you're doing you are unique you are one of a kind do not compare yourself with anyone your journey is yours your only thing that you have to do in life is make sure you give your 100% every day and try to become better than what you were yesterday and if you focus only on yourself and not on others trust me you will reach your highest potential in life and that is all any human being can do i hope these five points is something which makes sense to you and all of you will inculcate in your daily routine and trust me if you do so you will see immediate results thank you so much for listening if you found some value in this video please like it so that the youtube algorithm understands that this is a valuable video can can recommend it to others do share it with your friends and if you have some beautiful things to say to me put it down in the comment section my dear friends i will see you in the next video take care Thank you.